What's going on guys? It is your boy Jake Daniels and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can permanently get curly hair and that is one of the biggest trends right now so let's talk about it in today's video. So back in 2017 nobody could have predicted that having curls in your hairstyle would be as popular as it was. Every single time I make a video on my channel you the hair community go absolutely mad for it. So I thought why not today I dive into detail about this topic and show you lot four curly hairstyles that you should rock if you want to keep up to date with this hairstyle trend. Can't wait to show you hairstyle number two though because it's my favourite and I've got a sneaky feeling that a lot of you are really going to like it. So if you're new to this channel why not whack the subscribe button down below and make sure the notifications bell button which is next to it is switched on. Also head on over to my Instagram account give me a cheeky follow because over there I have loads of uh, outfit inspiration pictures for you guys to get ideas off of. So on to hairstyle number one, there's actually so many trends within this style. Like I mentioned a few months back in my uh, hairstyle trends of 2018 video, long hair is in fashion. Popular YouTuber and fitness guru Joe Wicks, who is actually my G by the way, has this hairstyle and I do actually hear that women fall head over heels for him. So here in the UK, if you're from the ages of 14 all the way upwards to like 50 or 60, there's a very good chance you'll be addicted to Love Island a TV show which just follows loads of single guys and girls, they get together. One of the most popular stars to uh, come out of Love Island, Kem, actually has been seen before with long curly hair, just like Joe Wicks. Two popular Cheeky Nando's lads uh, have this hairstyle in the UK and they both get girls, so. The second hairstyle I'm going to talk about is my personal favorite, but that's not to say that I don't like any of the other hairstyles I'm uh, about to show you on this channel, because I really do. This style consists of the curly hair push forward and the sides and back shaved. My recommendation for the sides is to go for a 0.5 Fade it up to a two, that way you get to see the uh, graduation is really nice and visible. I think it gives real character to your haircut and other guys are going to look at you and go, damn, he's fresh. Personally, I really like how the hair is pushed forward and I know what you're thinking. Well, Daniels, can you tell us how to get this uh, hairstyle? No. Google it. This is... Oh, fuck's sake. So this is how I get curly hair and I believe it's going to really help some of you. This little device right here is called a diffuser. A diffuser is an attachment for your blow dryer. The effect of using this is that it enhances your curls and it reduces frizz. With a blow dryer we have a straight airflow. With a diffuser however we have a more rounded airflow. The black pieces of plastic sticking out is what separates our hair. The effect of this is that we achieve textured defined curls. So as you can see using a diffuser has this effect. My curls are very textured, very bold and very curly. In addition, unlike a pompadour or a quiff that can fall down throughout the day, this particular style will always remain for hours and hours. Remember when you're in the hairstyling process to gently grab the hair at the front and start to direct it forward to get this look in the pictures. Hairstyle number three is very similar to the first one we saw but at the same time it's still a little bit different. It's much more wild on top. Whereas hairstyle number one's focus is the curly hair at the back. If you've not got long hair, around uh, the sides and the back of your head, then you're simply not going to be able to achieve this style. If we compare this picture to hairstyle number two, as you can see with the shaved sides, we see clearly that it's going to take you so, so long to get uh, to hairstyle number three. If you like hairstyle number three, then you're going to have to avoid getting a haircut for a very long time, and you're going to unfortunately have to commit to that. Pretty long for man, in my opinion, but it's entirely up to you. Uh, personally, I like hairstyle number two much better, but I just wanted to mix the video up and show you guys different ideas for curly hairstyles. In a few moments, I'm going to explain a treatment to you that will uh, allow you to have curly hair permanently, but before that, let's talk about hairstyle number four. So earlier on in the video, we looked at a curly hairstyle which is pushed completely forward uh, down to your eyebrows. This has just appeared on my face all of a sudden. It's just like a heat rash or something, just to let you know. However, this time, we simply don't push it down. We let it fall in the natural direction uh, it wants to go in and if you want to bring like a whole new look to your hairstyle you can actually just like uh, style it up. The way to achieve this is to use a diffuser on your blow dryer just like I showed you earlier on in the video then during the styling process direct it in the way you want your curly hairstyle to fall. All of these styles are really really great and I like every single one of them however there is one little problem when we get our hair wet from the shower or if you're like me and you like a bath your hair type is going to go back to uh, how it normally is and you're going to have to repeat the styling process all over again. However, there is actually a treatment that allows you to get curly hair consistently, no matter if you get your hair wet. Uh, this is called a perm treatment, and beware lads, if you do get the perm treatment, it's going to be stuck with you for quite a few months, and there is no going back. I'm still trying to find someone like a model or a volunteer 
to uh, get a perm hair treatment so I can document the whole process and show it to you. Beware because the results last for a long time. You can't just have a perm for a few days and then just decide, oh no, nah, this is shit, I don't like it. However, I actually do need your uh, attention for this part of the video because this is actually really, really serious. Some hair treatments uh, contain a chemical called formaldehyde. Now, there's been a lot of concern about formaldehyde because it can be really bad uh, and it's been linked to health concerns. So please, please, please do your research and if you find formaldehyde is in uh, a certain treatment you wanna get, I would really avoid it. The treatment, however, is very successful uh, and it's affordable as well. So guys, that's all I've got for you in today's video. Let me know in the comments section down below what are your thoughts on curly hair and out of all the hairstyles you saw in today's video, which one was your favorite? I'm waiting for you, come and interact with me. Let's get a discussion going down below in the uh, comments section and I'll see everybody in my next video. I'm Jake Daniels.